Good afternoon. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of a garden update. We've done a couple of things in the garden, not loads, but some bits and pieces. So I don't know if you remember, I bought the bay trees. Well, they're now planted and these lovely planters from um, being cute were £22 on special offer. I was really pleased with those because I couldn't see any for less than 40 other than these. They were all on a big pallet together, whether they've still got them, I'm not sure. But yeah, I think they look pretty pretty cute at the front door hopefully they'll sort of perk up now and fill out a little bit and the stones were a bag of stones we found in the garden we just thought we'd dress the top just to keep them a little bit more stable can get really quite windy at the front here so i'm really pleased with those and we cut the laurel hedge uh, in and out between the raindrops um at the weekend so that's much tidier and three green bags you can see are full of laurel hedge cuttings so i've got to go to the tip with those but we've started this bed here. So they've started digging out this bed and we're gonna edge it with uh, treated timber. So it's going to go, this is as far as we've got. It's just gonna kind of go round there and then just taper, taper round to uh, the tree. You can see there, the pale uh, green leaf tree. So, and then we've got to sort it out because the bed sort of comes from the plant at the back which is just finishing flowering i'm going to cut it down a little bit once it's flowered and then round here and round here so yeah really pleased with um the progress we've made on here we also cut the lawn again at the weekend very short i know it's looking patchy but we're trying to get rid of the moss so we're treating it at the moment to get rid of the moss we've actually i've actually got a dry day for filming which is amazing i've been trying to get well we've been we have been out in the garden we've just been brave brave in the weather but yesterday it took us about six hours to do a two-hour job because we were in and out for every few minutes let me take you around the back and show you what we've been working on the are enjoying this shade they've sort of got nice big purple flowers on them um excuse the washing but you've got to make the most of the the dry days at, at the moment in in the uk so these are my dad's plant, plants he likes them very regimental but that's fine that's that's what they like um so we had a bit of a clear out here over the weekend these pots are with things in that are from last year that we just need to re repurpose um we're working on this path at the moment there's always been a path here down to the shed however the grass has been allowed to grow over it so um the, the between us we've managed to clear this path so it's looking, even though it looks a bit scratchy around the edges, that'll soon grow back and it looks much more defined. We've also got a path that runs right down here to the greenhouse and then right down to the steps at the bottom. The other path is like a brick paved path, which again wants clearing. I always feel like if the, if the paths look clear, the garden looks a bit tidier. So we're working on that. Did I, did I mention to you that I'd seeded this little patch here um, which has come on a tree so next time we cut the lawn it'll have a little bit of a trim so I'm really pleased with that and we've done some more bits and pieces here so we've moved this little wooden it looks like a beehive it's not it's a compost uh, bin so we've popped that around the back and we had one of the old chimneys which is from, lo locally from here it's broken at the back but we didn't want to throw it away so we've found this fern in another bit of the garden and potted it in there so quite like the effect actually it looks like a tree fern without the cost it was free <laughs> this plant obviously likes it here because even though it's got a tiny little bit of slug damage it's produced this gorgeous little blue flower which i'm really pleased with um so yeah the plants are seeming to like it here we're really pleased with this bed because we created it from nothing it really didn't cost anything to create they were all pots that we had all plants that we had already um, or we moved from different parts of the garden and then we bought these at the weekend they just I just could not resist I love a gerber and I couldn't resist this lovely bright pink and yellow so these two pots were the blue ones that were around the front if you remember and um, we just got rid of the, the bits that were in there and potted these I thought they'd be a nice pop of colour against this brown greenhouse and then around this side I don't know whether you remember but we had this little um this little plant at the other side so we've moved it here and this again was a pot we already had and we planted this in I can't remember that I am terrible for remembering names of flowers I'm sure you're all 
shouting at the screen I'll have, I'll have to ask my husband what the name of this is but we want this to sort of tumble down and I quite like the fact that it's a bit battered and a bit worn I quite enjoy that so we tidied up this bit at the weekend as well and we cut the trees that lead onto the school so if it's noisy this afternoon if you can hear the school I think it might be the sports day before they break up um, so yeah we cut the trees right up along behind the greenhouse and down to that corner so that's had a bit of a tidy and then let me show you this sorry I'm trying not to make anybody feel sick um, I've just I found this around the back of the greenhouse um, full of mould and rust and all sorts I've given it a really good clean and I've potted um, uh, what's the name of this one can't remember I'll put it on the screen so this lovely pink and sort of very vibrant ready pink and then a very pale pink and white and this one which sort of will hopefully it's got, supposed to have peach colored flowers this and it has got buds on so I'm hoping we get some nice peach flowers um, I just love these old sort of metal containers and they're I don't know if you've ever tried to buy them but they're really really expensive and also this bed which we only created this year with all these purples is looking really pretty we also put some forest bark down there just to keep the the weeds at, at bay so yeah we've been we've been busy so i'm going to carry on with my um steps now the, the technique is that dave cuts around them and then i pull the <laughs> pull the excess grass from around the edges so that'll be one um completely cleared and then next time I'm in the garden, I think I'll tackle the bit down to the greenhouse. So yeah, just a quick garden update. Very much a work in progress, but we are getting there. The plan for this area is to um, build some raised planters so that I don't have to kneel down. I think anything new we create are going to be raised because I really struggled to get down to anything. So um, the, this will come out. We, we inherited this sort of box and um, that will come out and Dave's going to build we've looked at the price of ready-made planters and we're definitely building our own because they're just far too expensive these posts that were here that are here are cemented in we're going to remove them but they're cemented in so the plan is to use them but what we're going to do is as you know we're clearing this bit that you can see down here um, with the green bag and the fretwork at the back we're going to repurpose that and use it up the side here so that I can if I do grow some some acclimatis or some sweet peas or if I, I might want to grow vegetables up it we can uh, reuse that there so yeah just a quick garden update I hope you're all doing well thought I'd pop on and do this while I was out here um, Dave's busy putting electric in the shed at the moment so we can have um, a couple of chest freezers out here which will be really handy and that little box is a uh, a project to finish off my daughter's bathroom so it's all happening <laughs> lots going on so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye for now mm -hmm.